Hi there, welcome to another video. So today what I'm going to be doing is utilising the lamb to, leftover lamb tagine. Um, I've just started heating that up. I'll just show you guys. It turned out really nice. There we go. Like just a little bit left over there on, on, the, on the leg. Um, and all that lovely uh, reduced down sauce. I actually ended up cooking it for three hours because obviously it's a shank. If you, if you used like a shoulder or a neck, then you wouldn't have needed to cook it that long, maybe two hours. So I'm just gonna heat that up. Um, and then I'm gonna basically heat, I've got some rapeseed oil in the pan here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic to that. And what I'm going to be making today is um, like a, a lamb rogue and josh. So I don't have all the ingredients today. I don't have fresh coriander, so uh, I'm using dried coriander. I'm gonna add a little bit of tom more tomato puree, uh, some white onion and some fresh tomatoes and some passata, and maybe a little bit of chicken stock as well. And that combined with the leftover lamb tagine will make a very nice, you know, freestyled uh, Rogan Josh, I think. So um, you're probably wondering also why I've got all these extra uh, ingredients here. That's because I've got a lot to do today. Um, for tomorrow's meal, what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to be using, I'm going to do two videos. So I'm going to be using all these ingredients after I've done this Rogan Josh to make tomorrow's meal, but you're going to find out. But I'm doing them back to back. There's a reason for that. Okay, so I'm just heating, heating up the garlic there. I might just put a tiny little bit of ginger. I've prepped a lot of this stuff in advance just to save a bit of time. Okay, in goes the a little bit of white onion. I don't really need to add uh, any extra spices because we put like cumin, didn't we, in there already. And you know, it's got loads of spices in the tagine, so. Uh, that's why it's like a bit of a freestyle uh, Rogan Josh because it's not it's not typically how you'd make one, but it's got all the essence of one, but and some, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a sweet Rogan, yeah. So also what I've got, just going to turn that down there. Going to put some sweet red peppers in there. Some more, all of them, there. Okay, just put a little bit of this passata in there. The dog sticking, you can hear the pan sizzling. Get it like this, stop it from burning. Okay, what I've also done in advance, I've made some basmati rice, just plain boiled rice, uh, and that is actually steaming, currently steaming. So, the way I made that was obviously similar to the rice and peas that I made previously in another video. I basically put 8 to 10 ml of water over the, the rinsed rice, you rinse out all the starch and then when it's, uh, the water's clear, put 8 to 10 ml of water over it, turn it up, turn up the gas burner really full, like high, uh, bubble it, bubble it, bubble it up until it, and once it's all bubbled and got all frothy in the pan, then you turn it down to a low heat. Once it's all absorbed all the rest of the water, then turn off the gas and just let it steam for 20 minutes and then job done. Okay, back to the rogan now. So um, what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of um, spring onion in there. Turn up the heat, gas a little bit again. Okay, so let's see how this lamb tagine is looking. Yep, that's warming up. And I just wanted to show you guys, if you can see that, that's the lamb shank. Look how, look, look how easy it is to get that off the bone, it's just falling off, yeah? And that's, that's actually not even heated up properly. So, um, look, that's, that's great, look, it's just falling off, off, the, off the bone, look. But I'm actually, you still leaving these bones in, just add a little bit more flavour, yeah? It's almost like a lamb stock. So that's just bubbling away in there. I'm wash my hands quickly. So what I do now is put a bit of tomato puree in here, just a squeeze of that. Leftover passata there, probably not all of it, I'll utilize that for another dish maybe. 
That's it. Just creating almost like a bit of a, a base. I don't have any garam and sala either. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that in there. Okay, but I think this is a this is not a rogan josh, so it's all good. It's just uh, attempting to be one, isn't it? So okay, this is all good. So what I'm gonna do, turn off that, and now what I do is put all this lovely tagine mixture, whack that in the pan. Look at that. going to give it a lot of depth of flavour, I reckon. But because I've actually packed, I'm going to pack it out with like a, there's quite a tomato-y base, then that should uh, offset the tagine and make it a little bit more rogan I'm hoping. Okay. Just going to cook that down there and put a little bit of chicken stock in there. And then I'm going to put lots of these lovely vine ripe tomatoes in. Okay, I'm just going to cut them into quarters. Okay, just to speed up the cooking process a little bit and also bulk it out a bit more, spread, spread the tomatoes out a bit. And then after I've done these, put these tomatoes in, then I'll probably leave it for maybe 10 minutes on the hob, and then I'll show you guys once it's plated up. It's a very quick meal, this, you know. It's just literally heating up a few extra ingredients, racking in the leftover tagine, and then waiting to soften the tomatoes. That's all there is to it. I'm waiting, obviously, for the, the rice to steam. But whilst that's just doing its own thing, we're just cracking on this, so it's a really easy dish. Okay, quite a few tomatoes in there. Just put the last one in there. Okay. Give it a little stir around. down with the bones in it for like an extra, for 10 minutes or so, um, and that would just, and then obviously when you serve it, take out the bones, and that would be a lovely dish. I'm going to turn that down to like a low heat on the, on the hot, on the, the gas, the wok burner, so if you're doing it, or if you're cooking on a normal hob, then put it on a medium heat. Okay, so I'll show you a picture afterwards it's plated up.